and it was glorious. I was like, oh, I'm loving this. And it was me. I was like, oh, is that me? <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I tend to like old movies too. I tell you, I sometimes I think I'm an old white man. <laughs> I think I've been an old white man since I got ten. <laughs> when people, I remember when I was in high school when people were talking about their favorite actors and all, and I said, my favorite actor is Montgomery Cliff. <laughs> Because you know, apparently, this is trick or treat heaven, this block that I'm living on. And of course, I left because I had to go to mass. So when they were trick or treating, right as it started, I was leaving so I could see them outside. And so I was like, don't come to this house because I'm out. Peace out. <laughs> I am 51. There was a time when I wouldn't tell anybody that. What's that? Cut the cake. No, studio. We challenge you to get a cake ball. I don't really care who wins. <laughs> <laughs> Montessori school, everybody's a winner, <laughs> but we're winning. There goes, there goes. Woo! Go, 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 go. Seven, eight for the Wood Studio. <laughs> Ten for the Wood Studio. Ten for the Wood Studio. This is my nickname. Dennis. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. Let's bring it to the base. The bases are loaded for the Wood Studio. Bases are loaded. Bring them home. But we still have two innings to go. Do you think and they I trust them. Back? Do you think you make comeback? Absolutely. And what happens right. if they don't? They all fail. <laughs> Wood Studio, how do you feel? Dr. Wood just said if you don't win, you, you are all failing. So. <laughs> I'm going to fail anyway, so yeah, it's fine. No, I, I I think we could all agree that, that Dr. Woods was one of the greatest people we've ever met. And I am filled with gratitude knowing that I was able to study under him every week for four years. And when I think of what he taught me, I think of these three things. Number one, always be prepared. Number two, when you are on stage, that is your time. Do not let anyone else's opinions get in the way of what you want to do up there. And number three, you can never do too many area recitals. Well, <laughs> maybe that one's debatable. <laughs> I, I am sending love and strength to everyone here tonight watching this. I love you, Dr. Woods. Thank you. He taught me the value of friendship, the meaning of love. I don't know, God, he taught me so many things. Taught me what it means to find true peace and happiness, I think. I think that's what I'd say. Not only is Dr. Woods the greatest teacher I ever had and one of my closest friends, but I truly believe that he is one of the best human beings I've ever met. No one knew more love and more kindness than him. And I'll always remember how great of a person and how great of a friend he was. Wow, what can be said about the Dr. Lon L. Woods? What a guy. I mean, wherever Lon L. is, 
there's love and there's light and there's smiling faces and there's empowerment and there's encouragement and there's support there. Lonel came to Crane when I was in the middle of my undergraduate degree process and I, yeah, I was just losing myself. I had no idea where I was. I lost my father just that year as well. And so it's like, Lonel just kind of came in at the perfect time. You know, he looked like me, he understood me, and he really supported my growth and development on who I was interpersonally first, even before the music. I mean, the autonomy he let me have and just all at the end of the day was he just said, listen, I'm gonna let you do it, but <laughs> if you're gonna do anything, do it well. And that's been my mantra for life outside of music, even so in my current career. Lionel's just the most wonderful human being on earth. If it weren't for him, I wouldn't have had a recital. I couldn't afford a pianist. I couldn't afford a recital dress. Lionel made sure that that happened. And when he loves you, he loves you. And he it's real love and it's real evident. And so for that, I will say, Lionel, if I did not tell you enough, I love you so much. I always have from the second I met you until the second I leave, okay? Love you so much. I wanna thank you for all that you've done, what you've taught me, your mentorship, your kindness, and your love. May you rest in power, Dr. Woods. Dr. Woods always signed off his emails, peace and love. And now that's what I feel when I think of him. He brought peace to my busiest weeks and he always made me feel so loved and accepted for who I was. Now I strive to do the same for others because of him. After singing a very long high note in a voice lesson, Dr. Wood said to me, embrace the world because you just flew. Embrace the world. Okay. Because, I mean, you just flew. I worked closely with Dr. Woods during my term as president of the Crane Student Association. I learned countless lessons from him during this time, but three stood out to me the most. The first is to approach everything you do from a place of love. Anything worth doing is worth doing with all the love in the world. Persevere, never letting your kindness falter. And finally, never stop speaking up for yourself and for others, and never stop speaking out against injustices, even when you're met with resistance, and especially when you're met with resistance. Peace and love. Come with an open heart. Lead with grace and humor, and never give up hope. Thank you, Dean Emeritus Woods, for everything. Peace and love! My friend Lonel taught me that the fullest life possible is one devoted to fostering and sustaining community, and that the best way to ensure that those communities prosper and thrive is to lead with kindness, generosity, and humility. He was a beacon and his work carries on in the countless people whose lives he touched who live in his example. Dr. Woods was the first real private voice teacher that I ever had, so not only did he teach me to be a better singer and a better musician, but he taught me how to teach. He showed me how to make a true connection with your students and make them feel special and make them feel loved because that's how I felt when I was working with him. There's not a single day that goes by in one of my classrooms, whether it's in the choir classroom, the general music classroom, or even a, as a private voice teacher myself, where I don't directly quote or embody something that he taught me during my years with him. So I thank him for those years. And, you know, I hope that with peace and love, he's looking down on all of us and he's proud of all of us for what he did and what we are doing because of him, and I thank him for that.